Good morning to my subscribers in the Philippines. Good evening to my subscribers in America and beyond. Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. This channel is a resource of information for the new man and woman, the newbie I call them, who's never been to the Philippines, who's interested in coming over here for a visit, slow vacation, and uh, maybe to rejuvenate. Okay, because we don't use the word retire here. Okay, this channel, and you know, I'm sad to say, and I'm not sad to say, doesn't have a lot of fancy equipment, drones, animation, and all that other stuff that you see on YouTube. But we do have some good information that can make your trip to the Philippines more enjoyable, you know, and for you to avoid a lot of the mistakes that I made when I came over here. Because remember I told you I didn't read the handbook. I just got on the plane and uh, flew over here. And now my mistakes have become my secrets and I share them with you. I'm not an expert. Okay, I'm not a know-it-all, and if I come off like that, really, I apologize, man. I'm just trying to be helpful. But I am boots on the ground. That's what makes me different. I'm right in the middle of all this. I live among the locals, and it's for your benefit. See, I'm going to give you the nitty-gritty. I don't live around the edges like a lot of these bloggers in these big fancy towers looking down on the local, giving you a play-by-play. -play. I'm going to tell you exactly how it is, what I'm seeing, what I'm living, what I'm experiencing, I'm never going to sugarcoat it, okay? So welcome again, uh, it's October the 13th, 2020, this is the good, the bad, and the ugly. But before I get started, I want to address something really fast. Uh, one of my videos, I talked about the law of compensation. You know, and sometimes, you know, we have to give first in order to receive, you know, we have to do some things in advance first. Okay, and a guy said he can't understand that concept. Can I explain it? And I can explain it really, really quick, okay? Just think about your job, the first day you uh, went to your job. The supervisor didn't come up to you and hand you a paycheck and say, hey, Jim, welcome to the company. Here's your paycheck for your first two weeks of work. He didn't do that. You had to work two weeks first, and then you get the paycheck, okay? It's the same way this law of compensation works. It's the same way going the extra mile works, okay? But when we go to work first and then get paid, we do it subconsciously. We don't even think about the principles involved. But when you're dealing with the universal principles, you have to do it consciously. And a lot of us just can't wrap our minds around some of the simple concepts associated with it. So that's that. But the good today is the WHO, the World Health Organization, is finally coming to its senses about these lockdowns. You know, these continuous lockdowns are not the best strategy against combating COVID-19. I mean, they're having a devastating effect on these economies, some that's irreversible, and then, uh, you know, the mental health associated with it. You know, what they're trying to tell these countries and these leaders now are just to come up with a plan to protect our most vulnerable population uh, from the COVID-19. And see, that's an approach that I can agree with, okay? Because these lockdowns, man, I'm going to tell you, man, my mental health, it's really what started this channel. I had to find something to do to get out of that boredom and that, that everyday routine the days start running in together and on that same note manila is starting to open up a little more okay their COVID 19 protocol you know of course you know they had the the uh, curfew but during the daytime only people 21 to 60 were allowed to come out anyone under 21 24-hour lockdown anyone over 60 24-hour lockdown but now they're extending that now it's 18 to 65, and that's good because a lot of these 18-year-olds over here, they can work, they can help contribute to the family. So that's the good. You know, we're opening up a little bit at a time, man. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm ready to get back to the new normal, whatever that is. Listen to this, and I'm going to go to the bad. Taiwan, the country of Taiwan, never had a lockdown in this whole COVID-19 situation. And only 
has, I mean, just a smattering of deaths. You know, one death is too many, but I was reading about this. Okay, the countries of Vietnam, Taiwan, and New Zealand all together have 67 deaths attributed to COVID. Okay, and Vietnam and New Zealand, they both reopened up now. Bustling economies, okay. So that's good. Uh, the bad is, you know, this Netflix over here, and even sometimes YouTube, I, I'm not able to access a lot of the, the programs that I'm used to watching in the United States. Now, I don't watch a lot of television, but I do like documentaries. And a lot of the documentaries that are available in America on Netflix aren't available in the Philippines. The same with some of the songs that I grew up with they're not available on YouTube, copyright and different things like that. But I was real disappointed because, man, David Foster has this new documentary. And I'm a big fan of David Foster's songwriting and because he's wrote some of the most unbelievable songs that I didn't even know he wrote. Uh, After the Love is Gone by Earth, Wind and Fire. He wrote Through the Fire by Shaka Khan. But one thing that I was interested in and I wanted to see more about was, if you're my age, you remember Ben Vereen, the dancer, the Broadway star. Remember when he was ran over in, in uh, California and almost killed? Well, it was David Foster that ran him over. He was coming home late at night about 1 or 2 a.m. in the morning from the studio, from night in the studio, and Ben Vereen had had an accident or something and was stumbling across the road and David Foster ran him over, almost killed him. And I wanted to learn more about that, but you know, obviously I can't because it's not available over here. So that's the bad. The ugly for the day, and you know, growing up I was a big basketball star. Not too much now, you know, but uh, the ugly is I can't understand the hate and the shade being thrown toward LeBron James. I mean, uh, the guy just wins no matter where he goes, you know, he's, he, he has a po he portrays a positive image, you know, he gives back, you know, he speaks out when he can, you know, it doesn't really matter what you think about him personally, but on the court, the guy is just a flat out winner, man. They just won another championship. Uh, and here's another thing I know if I don't know nothing else. When the great ones are gone, we're going to miss them. See, when LeBron is gone and you can't watch him anymore, you're going to miss LeBron James. Just like we miss Michael Jackson, I mean, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, well, even Michael Jackson, the great ones, no matter what they do, Elvis, when they're gone, we miss them, no matter what we thought about them when they were either living or when they were uh, playing. And then now they're retired or, or dead. See, we miss them. So... My thing is, man, enjoy what we're watching right now. Enjoy this guy, man. He's an unbelievable talent, man. He's an unbelievable man. Imagine, he came into the NBA. He's an 18-year-old, never been in trouble. Have you ever read anything negative about him in the news, really? Drugs, anything like that. I mean, he's had a long, long NBA career. And I just can't understand it. It's ugly. It's gone too far. And come on, y'all. Let's put that to the side. Let's enjoy the few more years he's got uh, before he's gone because I don't see anybody on the landscape right now that's going to take his place. We're going to miss him when he's gone. So that's the ugly today. Thank you so much for watching. Later, I've got a nice video coming. It's going to help you. I'm going to show you the 10 best ways to enjoy your stay, to make your stay in the Philippines more enjoyable. I mean, it's some good stuff, man. And I'm going to do it in a nice setting, like either by the ocean or by the park or cinema or one of those. You're going to enjoy this. It's got a lot of good information for the new man or maybe even the expat here who hasn't uh, done a lot of moving around and engaging in the Philippines. So thank you so much for stopping by. Remember, I'm not an expert. If I come off like that, I apologize. Okay, I'm trying to be helpful. Okay, if you're in America, it's getting late. Before you go to bed, before your head hits that pillow, please 
help somebody today, okay? If you're out roaming around, you see somebody on the street, man, buy them something to eat, buy them something to drink, give them a couple of dollars. If you're in the Philippines, it's early morning. We've got all day we can still, you know, help somebody, find somebody to help, man, before it, the day ends. Because if I don't know anything else, this is one thing I know for sure. When we help other people, we help ourselves. Thank you. Take care. Stay COVID-free. Stay safe. I'll see you later.